Hello, welcome to Game Room 1. I'm Nisma. He's Lex. Hello. And today we're welcome to the latest addition to our fleet, the UCF Hermes. We're going to do a little uh, flyby tour and uh, showcase of the ship. Okay, Lex, uh, straight yourself out, man. We've got to get to do this yeah. seriously. Come on. I'm not drunk at all, okay? I again, with the space bit, we talked about this. <laughs> okay. The UCF Hermes is a small scout class vessel. Uh, kind of on the theme of an AWACS. That's its primary role. It uh, disrupts uh, enemy communications and also and, uh, gathers intel on enemy movements behind the ever-expanding UCF uh, front, as if it were, of our territory. And she within has our little... bots. Yes, she's all shiny, shiny. Um, very fast. Uh, primary. Um, a pri it's not got a lot of armaments. The ship is designed to run away. F you know, run away first, then in if it needs to be then engage the enemy. It's um, recon deep reconnaissance, and that's its primary primary role. Yep. Okay. And uh, head over to the uh, the main feature of the ship, the radar tile. And Lex will now fill us in on the rest of the systems. Uh, like this was said, she's a scouting ship. Uh, main roles are, you know, scouting behind enemy lines. Uh, Counterintelligence, disrupting communications, we give her a giant spinning radar dome, because why the hell not? Um, she's about um, 120 meters long, she's a Corvette class in our fleet. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, she has cool blinking lights, look, 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 blinking lights. Cool aviation-y like. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about her smart light armaments? Yeah, she has um, a 25 centimeter pack cannon in the front and two auto cannons. Uh, it's not really meant. The ship is not really meant to um, uh, engage. Yeah, engage enemy e enemies. Like it's on its primary role. But if she needs to like get her way, uh, get her self out of a tricky situation she does got a big gun on the front you know she, she needs to you know focus. ladies <laughs> anyway let's move on shall we head inside i think we shall here's okay. one of the primary access doors i'm just gonna switch to first again with the space a space drunk seriously i'm not drunk you're drunk. you are space drunk i'm just saying i told you lay off lay off the space bit it's just it's just not needed Especially when we're trying to film a trip. Uh, anyway. Let me just close this because I don't want to catch a cold. <sighs> Indeed. Alright, here's the main corridor, uh, kind of the entry, main entrance of the ship. As you can see, it's very tight inside. Yes, it's uh, pretty very toit. small. Um, but we'll head into the into the main bridge now. Yep. Again, this is a. I like the bizarre... arrow. This is like the best feature of the ship, right? Mm -hmm. It's its uh, MLG right there. <laughs> um, this is a kind of. A dist Kind of unique style with our cockpits. Yes, there's some people would say this is highly impractical, but that's what how okay, we do Let's just say it is more worth tricky. Period. Yeah. Well, what gave that away? The, the consoles, yeah. much? Yeah. That again, mods will or the link to all the mods and everything will be in the description to the uh, workshop page. So don't before you, everyone asks in the comments. It's already there. Don't worry about it. So as you can see, uh, it's a very very uh, Trek S console. Light movement there, sorry. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright, then carrying on through. <clears throat> yes, this one, since this is your ship design, I shall follow you and you should. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Alright then. I like the I like I like how we always do these cryo rooms, like the, with the yes. blue and the Yeah, okay, and uh, the cryo very rooms. Moody. Yes. This is a cryopod area once we've uh, take yeah in this store for the deep hypersleep. Wait up. To remote. Uh, then gyro this room. Is the gyro room and the grab gen room. Yeah. Uh, we'll, um, this again, you can tell this is a somewhat modded gyro. Not <laughs> gonna tell you why. <laughs> oh, I, I know. Maybe the giant keypad on it. I don't no, know. no, no, no. Anyone who is wondering, it's ultra gyro. I don't know the uh, creator out of the top of my head, but it's in the. 
we love you. We love you. Whoever made this, we yes, love you. We, we love Cause, you big time. Because there's another ship without this, we couldn't even move it. So we do love you. Um, yes, sir. That is but a uh, little, uh, so this is, you know, grab gen and, cry and gyro controls, and there's a little console there to keep it all nice and neat. And this is the kind of heart of the ship, the comm relay room. So this is directly yeah. under the this is radar the dish. room for our main purpose, and I'll show you guys a little feature. We got these Sage's access doors. Thank you for that, Sage, but they're just a little bit toy. Yes, Sage, please. We love your stuff, but come on, man. Um, <laughs> Uh, make, make a door for Excel, a uh, larger gentleman, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially in his work, because he's a ship. Um, I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I am a, I am a slender thing. Uh, <laughs> As you can see in here, uh, you can go inside the radar dome, which I'll show you now. It's tight, yeah. so you shove Vashley there. Mm -hmm. No, uh, no, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, you I use the, uh, well, you know, the old trick that most people probably know by now is add a small ship rotor to a big ship rotor uh, made a small ship thing and I got myself a rotating radar dome yes this huge dome is resting on a tiny thing <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the technicality <laughs> technicality okay let all right let's, uh, let's head out of the room uh, I cannot I can't. Yeah, that's at the, again the keypad there is a little go. bit yeah, we go. All right, to the main engine room. This is kind of a standard kind of setup we have yeah. within the UCF universe where we, like we the use the um, arc reactor mod again, mod will be in the description. Uh, and we do love this design reactor, and also, of course, uh, they provide plenty of power for our ships. Again, a very small generator room. Uh, the conveyors are not just for aesthetics, that actually feeds the Mini Gatling gun turrets without the, throughout the ship. Yep. So again, and I we're trying to wait. The resupply. This is also where we. Uh, yes, this is the where the the conveyor the the is from where yeah. the sh on the little ship. It's underneath, underneath the main hull. So we go downstairs. Yes. I'm and uh, this is the storage area. Uh, keeping uh, everything uh, all compact and nice and tidy in there. Mm -hmm. There's a little little screen there to show the inventory. Uh, first uh, shower room. As you can see, nothing in nice and modern showers. Just keep it nice and simple. We'll move across. We'll keep doing this side of the ship first. Uh, we got the uh, dorm room, uh, bunk beds and stuff. Again, they're repeated throughout the ship. This is a ten-man crew, uh, so we can, uh, you know, everything's very compact. This is the kind of little trick uh, system that we have as our own escape pod design. They do work. Uh, there are a little bit buggy. Yeah, the, if the ship like turns uh, at high velocity or goes very fast, the connectors tend to disconnect. But uh, I added in these feeds basically, which will hold them into place so they don't wreck the ship. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, working progress. Yeah, it, it, it's game limitation for now, I guess. Mhm. Mm Alright then, let's carry on. Again, repeated the same size, so all these all these red doors are all the same, so there's no point showing you all that. Then in here we have a little recce room, chill out session. Same screen, you may recognize it from before, I'm not going to talk about the thing underneath the screen, because that got me in trouble last time. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, <laughs> Alright then, this is the main gunnery control. This is uh, where the pack cannon is based and the auto cannons. And this is the rearming, and uh, again, the conveyor feeds through the entire ship up to here, supplies the ammunition from the store at the back of the ship. Uh, the reason, again, we reason why we put a little control room in here is uh, mainly obviously we had the space because of the bridge being a little st uh, stepped up. So I thought this this space just needed something underneath it, otherwise it would have just been a hollowed out area. Which well, kind of you dull. know, that's why you have crew on these ships. This is like the <laughs> captain will go fire, and there will be a guy sitting here, and he'll press a button. Mm -hmm. And hope for the best. Yeah. First one of our main, uh, first toilet. Keeping it again, keeping the hygiene within the UCF. Always yeah, for the it's max. very necessary for all those mm -hmm. chilly runs. Indeed. Uh, we don't talk about chili. <laughs> special, special, special chili within the UCF. Um, anyway, this, this is, is more this galley. This spe is special room. Yes, uh, I I'll, uh, I'll have regardless a of my status within the UCF. I'll, I'll have a portion of uh, extra spicy chili with a side order of chili and some chili fries. With that, would you like a chili coke with the, with the side of a yes, chili coke? Yes, please. Um, <laughs> we've got a special today. 
extra chili with, with prunes. Do you like that? Prunes. Yes. That's risky, ain't it? That is risky, but they are <laughs> really the stewed chili prunes. Yeah. <laughs> Shall anyway. we look at the rest of the ship? Yes, in key we carry on. Again, we go back down the same way we came, so a little mess all there. Again, repeating yeah. the skate pods, so I'll just open up to prove that they are there. There you go. We're not lying. You no, know, <laughs> but again, uh, again, the repeat of the rooms. Same rooms coming up. Uh, repeat of another room. And yep, more room again. And of course, the last and by no means least, the last toilet on the ship. Oh, 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 oh occupied. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, sorry, oh. Bob. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Bob. Oh, light a match. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, Bob. Oh. Someone put on the fucking uh, ventilator yeah. in that room. And we're okay. wearing space suits and we still smell that shit. Yeah, it's just. Oh, oh we're going to whip them. Alright then, and uh, the back ship. out through the side airlock. Yep. And then this is the back of the ship. We hope you liked our ship today. Make sure to like and subscribe on the workshop. This was Game Room 1. I'm Lex. I'm Nisbo. We'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to Game Room 1. I'm Lex. Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> ah! <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Oyster. Mm. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, this is the back of the ship here. And just uh, check on the last uh, lavatory. Goddamn chili. Oh god, <laughs> what the hell, man? Seriously. <laughs> Talk about this. Uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> Oh, just close it up there, yeah. He needs, he needs a moment. God. He, needs, he needs a moment. <laughs> uh, finishing up. They're um, a little bit buggy, aren't they, Lex? Yeah, just... What? Oh, the, oh. oh damn it. <laughs> Cut! Cut! <laughs>